Hey guys, Stark with Cyclone FPV, and I had a customer send in his radio, an X9, oh man, this is the X9E. Now this is pretty cool, because I didn't realize when he wrote the notes what he was sending in. This is it right here. Let me show you this. I thought I was the only person who had one of these. Check that out. So if you look behind me on the wall there, there's mine, right here. I haven't seen anybody else use one of these. <laughs> wow. So this is going to be cool, because this sucker has probably got the same problem mine had. We're gonna find Welcome out. Welcome to Open TX. Yeah, okay. Welcome to Open TX Trim Center. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we've got some serious problems with the, looks like it's gonna be the firmware on here. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna to go to FreeSky's website real quick. I wanna see what FreeSky has offered. Cause I remember, I think my battery's toast. Um, I just can't believe anybody else has this radio. That's so cool. All right, so let's go and let's head over to, <clears throat> let's see, uh, let's see, frsky-rc.com. This will be interesting. It's going to be real interesting. I hope we get this because I'm going to work on mine. This was, this has been by far, uh, um, this was my favorite radio ever. I mean, this thing sits on your lap. It's perfect for putting your palms on there and just relaxing. Uh, but mine went to crap and I hadn't used it since so let's go to uh, Let's see we are talking. Oh, I have no idea. Let's just go to a view all here. So definitely be in the discontinued list Let me get a drink All right uh, So we are the e-series and we have to try to find that somewhere in here There, X9E, perfect. That's awesome radio. Okay, uh, we're gonna go to download. Let's head over to the downloads page. All right. Two point three point nine. All right, let's go to OpenTX. <coughs> let's go to Radio Profiles. I don't even think I created a profile for mine because I never was. Oh man, that's cool. Let's. I don't know if I can even add one. Probably not. I believe I have too many. There's a limitation on this software. So let's just delete something. Let's go to Radio Profiles. I'm in the X90 Plus. Customer TX16 as X10 Express QX7X X9. I think I'll just go to that one and delete it. Settings, uh, radio profile, and then we will delete the current radio profile. Click yes, and then we will make a new one. Files, settings, radio profile, add radio profile. See, you can do that. So let's do uh, FR Sky Sky uh, X Nine E series. All right, let's see what we find here. So we've got to see if they even have that. I don't know if they offer it. I'm hoping they do. Let's start at the top, X90. There we go. And we will use... No heli. I think it's pretty much only option I'm gonna use. Uh, I'll have to find out what these are, but I don't even think he's gonna use Lewis Cripps. Uh, cover for radio shutdown. I'll take that. And then what is this one? Uh, I believe those are. You know what? I don't know. I can't say for certain. I don't, I'm not sure. Let me go and see. Uh, I won't mess with that for right now. I'll do the sh uh, I'll do the shutdown confirm, I guess. And let me see. Anything else? Nope. So we'll leave that. And let's just do a structure path. So we're going to make a new folder. Uh, we'll go to our desktop. And let's go to transmitters. And let's make a new folder. Call it it customer x9e. Okay. And then let's click that. And my computer is now frozen. Here it is. And let's make a new folder here called SD card. 
Okay, and we will select that, select that folder. All right, and our backup folder will just be our standard transmitter backup. Uh, desktop, let's go to transmitters. If you go to backup, click select folder. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Enable automatic backups. Yes, yes. And everything else here looks good. All right, so let's do that. And now let's go check for firmware. Check for updates, here we go. 3.14, yes, I want to download it. And we're gonna put that in our uh, desktop transmitters, customer X9E. And we will put this here, just save it right there. Welcome to OpenTX. Welcome to OpenTX. Minimum. No, we don't want to write the firmware. Let's go to download the SD card contents. And we'll download the newest version right here. Let's save those and we'll show those in the folder. That way, when they're done, we can just take those and copy them over. Now, while that's happening, we're going to check something on this side. We got a little bit of time. It's internet's moving really, really slow.
two minutes. Welcome to Open. Welcome to Open. Let's go. This download's taking forever, but we should be done with it in a few seconds, so that's the good part. Now, while it's doing that, I'm going to try and see if I can part of this to load. Not too much of a fight. Because this one, what we've got is we've got it. It won't. It won't start up. So while that's doing that, let me just click OK, and then let me try to write from the radio. I'll let that sit a second while this is downloading, just so we can see what happens, if anything. My download's good. So let's go grab that. Let's cut that. Let's go to our desktop. Go to transmitters. Customer X9E. And let's paste that here. And then let's extract all of it. Alright, so we're getting a not compatible issue, which is fine. I mean, this is part of the thing so I have a feeling what we're gonna do here is we're gonna force it let's just write it no sense in trying to try to get this to work without forcing it so we're gonna force this into the bootloader and then we're gonna get the SD card content so we're gonna start copying everything over and then updating it which would be neat man I love this controller so hope we can get this working with this gentleman If I do, I'll probably just get mine open. This is a, it does a D16 and D8 protocol, so uh, I don't know what the ISRM. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing there. I don't know what the ISRM update is on this one. Let's see what or the XJT module. Oh, it does run 2.1.0, so that's pretty awesome. So uh, I'm not going to put that on there because I don't think he's running that. Um, but uh, that is cool that it will go to that point. Uh, that'll be neat. All right, so we are going to continue to write this bootloader, and at the same time, we're going to go to our extraction here. Uh, let's just, uh, whoops, still doing it, I guess. So, long file, a lot of files. Okay, um, so we did our, our stuff here, so that's good. Now what we're going to hope for is that we can unplug this. And the hope is that we can get this to go into Perfect, and this thing's getting ready to roll. So I'll show you on the screen in just a second. We can finally get into our bootloaders. We're gonna be set here. This is gonna be really great. So um, let's see how our files are doing. All right, so we've got our SD card contents here, All right? So that should be this folder right here. I'm gonna to go to languages, or sounds I mean, and then we're gonna delete everything but English. So we don't have this massive file. And then we're gonna delete this one, and then we're gonna delete this one. 
Okay, now what we're going to do is now we're going to go back to our radio and check this out. So, so what well, the problem we had initially, right, it would stay on even. So now we can go into, we're ready to go. So we're ready to put this onto uh, OpenTX. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you that video now. So now that we're ready to do this, let's go ahead and plug it in. There we go. And then what we're going to do now, okay, and these are his, looks like he's got the same version I have. Oops, sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, shoot, did this on November 18th. I really don't know, but I'm hoping that that's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to OpenTX and we're just going to tell it to go ahead and write the firmware. So we'll check for hardware compatibility now and let's go ahead and write TX. And this should start writing. Unless I'm missing something here, we should, uh, okay, let's just wait. I know we have a no res not responding, but I think it will respond unless we have an issue with our cable here or USB. We should be okay. So let's see. And it seems to be the hardware compatibility check that might be the issue. I may have to remove that again, but this might work out pretty well. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like we're doing good. Okay, we're going to click close. And then we're going to basically just eject the radio. We might be ready to go, guys. So here's our screen. Let's get to it. We might be set. Let's go ahead and click exit. You probably won't. Okay, that's fine. Welcome to OpenTX. Sweet. So we'll just click through this. Page, 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 page. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and calibrate. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm excited now because, uh, uh, oh God, where does he have all these? I don't know what these, S1, I don't see any of these on my side. Great. Oh, sorry, they're right here. And then we have these ones, which are not functioning, I guess. Um, I'll have to figure that out. But anyway, so let's go. Let's configure it. Okay. Oh, they are moving now, perfect. Look at that. Done. Uh, I believe the models are still, still on the uh, SD card. I'm not sure, but the sucker's moving great. So now we'll power it off. And we're going to hit enter to shut down. Let's turn it back on. Welcome to OpenTX. Look at that. Throttle warning. Switch warning. 100 switches on this thing. Expected for okay, so I do need to update the SD card. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this off. Okay, and let me take this SD card. Actually, I'll leave it in there, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna power this on. Even though we have a low battery, I'm gonna see if I can do this quick enough. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. awesome this radio is completely awesome so we're gonna to go to USB storage mode all right and then what we'll do is we'll do the same thing let's get in our computer here so I don't know if he had models on here there is no models on here anyway so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna delete all of this and then we're gonna to go to our here and we're gonna take this SD card oops I didn't take my stuff out yet, so we're gonna take this SD card, take all of that, and then cut it, go over, SD card, put it in here, and paste.
Uh, all right, where are we at here? So we were deleting these. It's almost done. There we go, 100% delete, right? Now we have our SD card over here. Okay, and I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna copy them over. Copy, let's go to the customer's card right here. Oops, right here. Okay, look, right here. And we're gonna paste. Man, this makes me wanna get mine. Look, I mean, I loved everything on this radio. The color screen on the top. I mean, everything about it was perfect. This, this radio is really awesome. So, I guess I'm just gonna have to go ahead and get mine out and hopefully get it working. I didn't realize they had done all those updates. But like I said, you can just keep your palms right here. And it's, it's got these awesome uh, pushies in and they pop out. Come on, there you go. And this is what you hook your uh, lanyard up to. And it just sits like that. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's what you hook your lanyard up to. Uh, but anyways, I never use that. But I did love this radio. And you can add all these switches as you need. It's pretty cool. Okay, copying is done. So now we're just going to go ahead, eject, eject. Let's unplug it. Now let's power it off. Power back on. Welcome to Open TX. Throttle warning. Not really sure where it wants to throttle at at this point. But our errors are done. We go and see where it has our throttle at. That's kind of our throttle warning. I think we're good there. Yeah, I don't see any problem there at all. Trim center, trim center, trim center, trim center. Perfect. And there you go. So the radio is now fixed, and this sucker is working perfect. Hope the customer's happy. This thing is phenomenal. All right, guys, if you have any questions, as always, you can hit us up at uh, cyclonefpv.com. We've got our support uh, links there. Uh, otherwise, that's it for this radio, the X9E, one of only two that I know that anybody uses, his and mine that's on the wall behind me right there, right there. That sucker is the same one. It's awesome. All right, other than that, God bless. Be safe. Most of all, guys, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. And enjoy your Christmas. Talk to you guys later. Peace.